Level Up is a particularly special record for me for a number of reasons. What Level Up is about is uh, me struggling with feelings of survivor's guilt. The first verse really establishes the, the family dynamic. My dad being diagnosed with cancer, my mother being left by her second husband after a decade up and out of nowhere, my cousin who died at 17 hitting a tree and then you know, sequentially his dad committing suicide on Easter. The second verse, I asked myself a question. They say money corrupt everything, I wonder if it's true. So I had to get a bunch of it to see what it could do. And what I was trying to figure out is if some of these feelings of guilt that I was experiencing, if they were justified. And looking back, I realized throughout that verse, and I hope I articulated it well, that as I became a better communicator, as I um, realized some of the ways in which I was falling short of being the best person that I could be, the financial gain actually came with it. My relationships improved, uh, my networking improved, concepts, things I had to talk about improved over time with the music. And so I put that to bed, but then in the third verse, I reiterate, so why then am I tripping? And then I go right back into talking about the dynamics between feeling guilty while, you know, I have old friends who have found themselves in precarious situations that, that I'm not currently facing. So I got friends, I got I got friends that had dreams that ain't turned out like they predicted. I got friends that turn hateful and vindictive. I got friends that had trauma as a kid but never fixed it. Now I'm hopping in that Tesla, but it's saying on Honda Civic. Level up. Writing Level this up. record Level is up. therapeutic. It allows me to take things that I've been thinking in private and putting them out there into the world. And it always feels a little scary to do some of those things, uh, to take some of the most personal elements of me that I don't even communicate necessarily with directly with my friends or my wife, um, but to just put those things out there in musical fashion to be consumed by the world is a little nerve wracking, but I think ultimately that's the type of stuff that will connect with people and what people get out of this is what they're gonna get out of it, you know? Maybe, maybe it's just a, a record that they can turn up to in the club and maybe it's a record that allows them to really think deeply about their position and, you know, maybe it's just a, just a cool song that you, you bump on, the, on a road trip, like, Wherever that's, this song meets you, I wanted to meet you, but for me it was it was therapeutic and, and a chance to try to mesh uh, trap sonics with, with something a little bit deeper than things that I've heard on a lot of recent trap records. They say money corrupt everything, I wonder if it's true. So I had to get a bunch of it to see what it could do. Hit record, started hustling way back when I wasn't. From my passion early on, but now my peers was privy. 